what Opera can do is it can ca capture um, uh, a, a, a visceral, intuitive uh, reality, which is very difficult to, to get in the theater. And it's because music uh, connects to sections of our understanding and being that are different than the ones that words do. And with opera, where you get an opportunity to pull words and music together, you get an opportunity to pull together the kind of the, the, the more thoughtful, intellectual component of our beings and the more intuitive, instinctual, uh, emotional components of our beings and turn them into one thing. As a result, opera is ca capable of capturing uh, ambiguities um, and metaphors uh, that the theater has to work very, very hard on and a bit laboriously on, where they, they come for free with, with the opera. Um, the other thing, particularly now that we've had a, a world dominated by uh, kind of kitchen sink realism, both in film and in theater, um, that, that one of the great things for me about opera is it can't, it can never become kitchen sink realism. We just don't walk around with, you know, with orchestra, you know, with big operas, you're, you're walking around with you know, 65 instrumentalists accompanying you. There's no way that that can sink into naturalism or any kind of realism. Uh, so it always stays on a highly imaginative plane uh, because uh, uh, kind of gritty realism is, uh, uh, you know, the, the closest you get to opera, it, do it in opera is very far away from anything that we would actually consider realistic. To, to be able to premiere a new opera anywhere uh, in Canada at the moment is a unique opportunity. And to be able to do it in Edmonton is just fabulous.